So you are so ready to make YouTube videos. In fact, you've got your ideas, but now what are some of the resources you can use to make your videos? Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover a bunch of different resources, free and paid, that you can use to make videos for your YouTube channel. Hey, if we haven't met, my name is Kevin Colby, and my whole purpose on this channel is to help you do more with video so you can share your gifts, make an impact in the world, if that sounds like something, hit that subscribe button. So let's talk about creating the video. Think about what you have in your pocket, like a phone. I use an iPhone, I have an iPhone 11. For years I used an iPhone 8 Plus, so it really doesn't matter what type. And I know there's droid users out there. I'm sorry. So what I would recommend is don't worry about what kind of camera you need or something like that. Use your iPhone to create the video. And here's one. QuickTime. Yeah, now if you're on a Mac, you get it free. You know, years ago, you used QuickTime just to watch stuff. You can use QuickTime to record, screen record, do an audio. You can even do a little editing in there too. I did a video before, I'll put a link to it down in the description, of, of more you can do with QuickTime, but it is a way to create video. Let's talk editing. So once you've shot the video, you may want to like do a little editing. I'm a huge Final Cut Pro fan. They used to call it Final Cut Pro X. Now it's just Final Cut Pro, but it is absolutely amazing. Now I, I I add a lot of plugins and things like that, but even if you don't want to do that, it comes, I started to say out of the box, but you actually download it. It comes with tons of plugins and effects. So Final Cut Pro, it's only like $2.99. And in fact, you can still get it for free for a trial period. And there's a, there's a link for how you can get that down in the description. But let's say you've never really edited a lot or maybe edited before and you're on a Mac, use iMovie. Look, years ago, iMovie was just like barely basic, but they've done a recent upgrade and it it's got a lot of cool things in there. So if you've never edited before and you're on a Mac, just start with iMovie and, and get the get the hang of like trimming and moving clips around and stuff like that. Then you can upgrade later if you want to to Final Cut. Okay, so you've shot your video and you've edited your video. Now you want to kind of spice it up with some music, graphics, maybe some stock footage. I recommend Storyblocks. They're not sponsoring this video. Heck, I don't even have an affiliate account with them, but I use them. I do a paid account. I use them for all my music, stock footage. Now, I also use another site for images and I'll, I'll share that in just a second. Story Block though, I, for their music, I use it, in fact, anytime I need music, whether it's commercial or production or personal or whatever, I use their music. They have stingers, they have like loops and, and almost any genre. That's really cool. And then their stock footage isn't bad. Now, sometimes I won't find what I'm looking for, but if you just need like some cover video to, you know, accentuate something or drop in or break it up, story blocks. Now, if you're looking for a really cool place for images that's totally free, check out Unsplash. I gotta tell you, I mean, it might even be worth just going there and just browsing through what they've got. And you can sort by landscape or vertical, but Unsplash, totally free, totally worth it. All right, now what about graphics? I recommend Canva. In fact, Canva is my go-to for every graphical thing I do. Is that word? Graphical? Is that, a, is that a word? I use it for my thumbnails. I've used it for live stream graphics. I've used it for presentations. Now there's a free plan and there's a paid plan. The paid isn't that much. I, it, I think it's under 120 a year. It gets you even more. There's templates in there. They even have stock footage. Canva, it's like the bomb. And another resource that may not seem that obvious is TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy is a phenomenal tool. In fact, it's one of the tools I used to help me grow my channel. You can get in there and do your keyword research. You can basically look for ideas before you ever shoot your video. In fact, there's another video I did about how to come up with ideas and I talk about TubeBuddy in that. But I would recommend TubeBuddy before you even start this whole process of creating and then that will help you kind of refine find your idea. So here's my question for you. What is your go-to resource for creating videos for your YouTube channel? Let me know down in the comments. Maybe it's one we haven't talked about. I'd love to check it out. If this video helped you in any way, how about a like and maybe share it with somebody too. And speaking of videos, check out one of these other videos so you can do more with video to share your gifts and make an impact in the world. Hey, I'm Kevin. See you in the next video.